I'd like to talk about a course I'm on. It's run by Sarah Payton. I'm 75 and I have been dealing with sexual abuse for a long time, uh, dealing with the trauma. And uh, we do something called constellations and I discovered it was um, religious abuse as well as sexual abuse. So the two coming together, I did not have much choice as a child. And Sarah Payton's course, I've been here four days and I have discovered more in those four days about me and my trauma than I have in 20 years of sexual abuse therapy, residential therapy. It's been like magic. And the people here are just uh, so supportive. They have a thing called resonance that when, we had the, when I had the trauma, I pushed it down and um, it's a safe place to bring it up and to have somebody close by because there's a lot of tears, there's a lot of, a lot of emotion and, but there's the support there and there's, it's studying the brain, the brain patterns and um, you don't have to use your head to say, oh yeah, I was a traumatizer, but you get into the brain patterns and understand what's actually happening in the brain. It's so beautiful. And also um, conflict resolution, which is, um, they have um, an IU and, um, and the, the formula is you use one sentence because often I can get into arguments and it rises up and up. But if I can, it works because we, we do lots of um, s scenarios with, with other participants. And it's, um, I and you don't repeat the same sentence and just use one sentence. And it is unbelievable. There are these formulas. So the emotion is kept down and the, uh, it, it's resolved. It's like magic. There's a lot of magic happening for me. At my age, there's a lot of magic. Um, so it's just wonderful. And today we did the circuit of emotions. And, um, well, I can't describe it to you really, but, well, each participant has one emotion, like um, rage or fear. And when it came to my turn, I, um, I said something about my son. And some participants said, no, ask for what you want. And strange as it may see, seem, I cried and I hid behind a chair and I could not say what I wanted. I've never really understood. I've always been striving to be part of my family system, which is a very dysfunctional family system. So I married into a dis dysfunctional pattern and I've been trying to fit in by being invisible and being a nice old lady. <laughs> and it, it's not worked for me because I'm not an old lady. I'm a young, vibrant, learning woman and respected for that too here. There's not an age barrier. There's not a sex barrier. There's not a, um, there's not a gender barrier. We have um, people who refer to themselves as they or somebody who, look, uh, who looks... A, maybe like a woman, but you call it, 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 there's a chance to say who you are inside. So being on the outside of these workshops, when you're mistaken for a woman, when you, you're doing transgender into a man, it's, it's very harmful because they don't see who you are. But here we recognize who people are and respect that. So that's wonderful.